The goal for today is to consolidate all of this into a 24 inch square cart. So these are Iron Mind brand sandbags. Anytime I mention this stuff on social media, I get a bunch of questions. So these are Iron Mind brand sandbags. They can come in two different sizes. I got the smaller bag and the larger bag. The larger one maxes out at like 300 pounds. I forget this one, but I have 100 pounds of sand in this one, 150 pounds of sand in this one. Having a couple different weights is pretty cool to uh, superset or to create um, to to create a EMOM timer cycle exercise. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I use this platform right here on the scaffold to lift them up to it. And I'm also currently using this platform to hold all of these weights. I just got my order from Kabuki. Uh, this is a Kabuki Strength Trap Bar HD. Incredibly awesome piece of equipment. Um, that's not the subject of this video, but again, every time I mention stuff, people ask questions. So that's what this is, and these are some Kabuki plates. Uh, these just came in, and as you can tell, I don't have a place for all my plates. I don't have a nice storage location for these plates just yet. So the goal, like I said, is to create a cart and have the cart internals as the plate storage have the cart with some really strong casters so I could really load it up and move it around as needed. Uh, to have the top platform really strong enough to be used with sandbags. And because it's a rolling cart, I'm not limited to just using one side of it to load these sandbags on. So if I get different weight sandbags, I could have up to four and put the cart, say, in a centralized location here in the shop. And then you put, uh, you can lift up from four different sides of that cart and therefore have options as far as how much weight you're picking up. Anyway, all that to say, consolidate all of this into a cart size so I can put this larger scaffold up in storage.
Que ça sert? Que ça sert? Il en touche sa gomme. Yeah. Hold on. You can help daddy. You can help daddy. Grab this. So, uh, I screwed up. <laughs> Not a single project that I make where I don't screw up somehow. Uh, you see these pipes to hold the weights, right? They're offset to one side. Now that's by design, but it's offset to the wrong side. The, the small distance right here is supposed to be in the front. The greater distance right here is supposed to be in the back. So that means as I was putting this together, the first piece I put on, which was the front, I put on the back. Uh, I do have all this glued and screwed in place. So I'm going to, and pin nailed, not brad nailed, but pin nailed. Um, I think because the bottom is attached around the perimeter that it should remain stationary. I'm going to try to remove the screws and break the internal MDF free, spin it around 180 degrees, hopefully get a little bit of glue in the joint, re-screw it back together, and and hope it's gonna be all right. I think it'll be all right. But man, I goofed up. I got the cart done and completely forgot to, to uh, record anything else. So I was able to, to spin the interior pieces around, which I was pleasantly surprised at how good of a bond the end of that MDF uh, bonded to the, the face screen or the face of the MDF. Typically the MDF, you know, the ends are very porous and they suck up a lot of glue before the glue actually has a chance to, to create a good bond. But anyway, uh, I, was, I was surprised about that. I was able to spin around, spin them around, no problem. I put the top on and I put a one quarter of an inch round over on all the top edges. So if you're picking something up here and you hit this edge, it's not gonna be brutal. The corners are still sharp. <laughs> but this top edge isn't. So the design uh, is, is pretty good all around, I think, except for one little area. So I, I designed this so that 25s could fit up here on one side, and if I spin this around, the opposite side of this 25 could be for 10s, leaving the front bar completely open for fives and two and a halves, which all I have with me right now are two and a halves. So plenty of space. Now, the thing that is was a little bit, um, I guess, eye-opening to me is, is these 45 plates. So let me bring in closer and we'll talk about this situation. My thinking for the 45 storage was to stack them up against the wall like so, and that's that. Well, I've seen a lot of storage solutions for these larger plates. 
uh, where you just have a front and a back and kind of a ditch in the middle so that they sit down in place and you'll have some dividers to stop them from falling left and right. I didn't do the dividers because I don't have much space in here. I do have left and right. So I was thinking I can get more in here and it, and it should be fine. Well, as I'm rolling this around, if this is in say this orientation, this, this has a little bit of a lean to it, then this will fall off. I've got the casters locked, but as I'm, as I'm rolling around, this will come out. So the solution is twofold. Number one is if there's not that many plates in here, this, this front plate, just leans up and acts as a brake. And if it's in this orientation, they're not gonna fall out no matter what you're doing. If you're throwing a sandbag on top, it, this isn't gonna fall out at all and like this. However, this is sized so that there's enough storage for four plates. I think four, maybe five, but uh, definitely five now that I see this. So if I have five in here, then if I wiggle the cart, then the fifth one is going to fall out. Odds are I'm not going to have five on one side with the other side open like that. But anyway, if this, if, if I ever find the need to where that this is fully loaded and I don't want the plate to come off, well, this front face of this this front piece right here and this front edge of this back panel are in line. These are coplanar, so a simple 45 degree piece from here to here to act as a stop to come out would be the solution in the event that I have a ridiculous amount of weight inside this cart. Uh, ridiculous amount of 45s anyway. Uh, in the meantime though, the solution is to lean them back like so. Also, you may or may not be able to see, yeah, yeah, you should be able to see this cleat that I nailed to the bottom. I glued and nailed this down to the bottom. That's simply to stop these from rolling forward. This gives me some other storage right here for whatever. When I made the SketchUp model, uh, I had extra 20 or two and a halfs down here, but I've got way, uh, plenty of storage for two and a half, so I don't think I'll ever use this down there. So maybe a jump rope or something, I don't know. But there's some extra space down here that can be utilized. Regarding the sandbag use, using the top platform for sandbags, uh, it's plenty strong enough. I've thrown this one up here a couple times just to mess with it. Plenty strong enough. I don't feel like it's teeter-tottering at all. Uh, the only downside to this regarding the sandbag, there's twofold. Number one, um, I was expecting two locking swivel casters and two fixed casters. If I had two fixed casters on the backside, it would be a little bit more solid than what it is as far as wiggling around. However, I must have read the description wrong when I ordered these casters because there's two locking swivels up front and then there's two actual swivels in the back. Uh, not, not ideal, but it's gonna be just fine, I think. Uh, then the second thing is it's a little bit taller than what I was wanting and that's uh, because of two things. Number one, at the last minute, I decided to double up this bottom platform. And then number two, uh, these casters are taller than what I was anticipating. So I just modeled it up just a little bit shorter than what it is. It's about two inches taller than that, that I'm used to. Uh, it's not the end of the world. I'm five, six. Oh, let me grab this. I'm five, six. And it's not incredibly difficult for me to get a sandbag up here. It's a little bit of a stretch. So on the heavier bags, It'll kind of be a pain in the butt. Um, but the solution is not to lower this because the rest of the world is taller than me. And some of my neighbors are in here working out too. Uh, everyone else is taller than me. The solution is for me to just stand on a platform, stand on something. The story of my life, stand on something. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I think that's it for this project. Uh, I'm going to break this down shortly and uh, free up a bunch of space in here. If you're interested in the dimensions to make one of these yourself, I have a dimension diagram uh, for free on my website. It's pretty self-explanatory how to put it together. Uh, nothing too complicated. You can use a jigsaw for all these other cuts and just drill some holes for pipes rather than using a CNC machine. Uh, that's it. Go to my website, jayscustomcreations.com slash news newsletter and sign up for my email newsletter so you don't miss anything that I publish. You guys take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you in the next video.